for it is fed by the melting wax which the bees your servants have made for the substance of this candle. <coughs> this is the night. This is the night in which heaven and earth are joined, things human and things divine, as in our baptism, when we are joined to the body of Christ, things human and things divine. The liturgy continues, but the thrust of the night is that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and that you and I, in our holy baptism, in our call, are joined with Christ. And that when we are in Christ, we become the light of the world. A light which is not diminished, even though it has been borrowed and divided. We are to shine with the same brilliance that Jesus shined with when he was among us. And if we dare so let our light shine, we can expect the same reception by the world that Jesus received. That is, persecution and rejection. To bear the light of Christ means that we who hold the borrowed light in our hand may well get burned as the wax melts down and flows over our hands. It is the cost of discipleship. We who bear the candle of Christ's light may also bear the wounds of Christ through which the world's salvation is worked out. Those marks of discipleship are all about our dying. You and I can build a well. And your fifth Sunday of offerings can support that project. Last year you responded generously to an ingathering for mosquito nets to help stop the spread of malaria. This year I placed before you the challenge to buy a water bottle. Through the ELCA Good Gifts program it costs $2,500. And we have a 50% matching grant for the first $312 in each of our fifth Sunday special offerings. So we have four fifth Sundays each year. That means that we only need to raise an additional $312 each fifth Sunday, plus the matching grant, and at the end of the year, the Seventy Lutheran Church can give the gift of a water bottle. In your bulletins last week and this week, you have an envelope for ELCA World Hunger. I encourage you to use that to make a special offering on this, our fifth Sunday celebration. Why? Well, I can think of no better reason than that Jesus said, I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. The Apostle Paul encourages us to live as children of the light. May God pour out His Spirit upon us and make it so. Amen.